Hey everyone, what's up? It's Finite MTG, and we are back with round number two of my very first Throne of Eldraine draft. We're going to keep this hand. It's not ideal. One land off of being quite good, but got a two drop and a good three, and we're on the draw. Um, another solid three here as well. Ginger Brute in a blue deck. Interesting. Well, they get to hit me for one here. Witch's Cottage. Uh, I think I'm going to play that safe and just run it out right now. Um, not ideal, but there's a decent chance I want to play the order on two. Um, and I'm not guaranteed by any means uh, the ability to return something later. Okay. Uh, so I was tempted to play Order of Midnight here if I didn't draw anything, but since I've drawn the Malevolent Noble, I can just play that one instead. Give me some value on the Order later. Um, uses my mana for the turn, and next turn I'm set up to play either one of my threes here. We're uh, stonewalling the Ginger Brute here, which is nice. Um, I think that card is pretty bad, by the way. <laughs> Three mana, two, two flyer. All right. Interesting. I think what I'm going to do here is just play the Rose Thorn Acolyte, and then next turn I have Bognati available. Um, I could also think about ramping into like a Revenge of Ravens, but regardless, I do have an attack here with my guy, so I'll go ahead and take it. I'm really surprised they didn't, uh, oh, it says non-creature artifact. It can't, unfortunately, I can't, uh, hmm, weird trade. Okay, well, I'm happy about that. Maybe they have their own Order of Midnight or something. I'm really surprised they took that trade, though. Uh, I'm getting a little punished for playing the Witch's Cottage first. One more swamp, and I'd, um, one more swamp, and I'd be able to play this untapped and get the value. <clears throat> But what I was trying to show you guys is the other half, the Bring to Life, which apparently I can see in the graveyard of the animating fairy. Uh, it says target non-creature artifact, so nice and non-bow there with the Ginger Brute. It's already a creature, so you can't put the four counters on it. Okay, uh, I think I'm still going for the Bog Naughty here. Yeah, no reason not to be mana efficient that I can think of. Um, the next turn, maybe I'm going... Well, I don't actually know what I would be doing next turn, but we can figure that out later. Um, do I need a forest for any reason? can't think of one off the top of my head. I think this is totally fine. Get a little bit punished here if they kill it, but even if they do, we get to Order of Midnight, get it back. <clears throat> Revenge of Ravens, excellent against Ginger Brood, of course, which is not attacking. Good sign for us here. Oh, hmm. they're going to pay the one. Okay. Yeah, we'll take four. Plenty of life we can gain later. Okay. That card doesn't do almost anything on this board. Uh, I'm pretty tempted to just play land, revenge, attack for three, and pass. Uh, my two three is holding back their two one, and revenge is holding back the ginger brute. Uh, we basically take two damage from the three two menace, and I think that's totally fine. All right, go ahead. Can you beat the revenge? If I wanted to spend all my mana, I suppose I could have cast Alter Fate, uh, returned them Malevolent Noble, but really just did not feel like that was necessary.
Harvest Fear. Okay. Well, pretty clear choice here. Gonna keep the Order of Midnight. Potentially going to use that to get the uh, Lost Legion back. We'll see. Spore Cap Spider. Uh, I guess we can use that to double block their Menace Creature. Um, I think we just hold the Order of Midnight, though. Maybe, hmm, maybe we just play both halves of that instead. Start putting more pressure on them. Um, I can return, like, Lost Legion. I think that's fine, too. Is it better to get Lost Legion or the Malevolent Noble? I can play the Malevolent Noble this turn. Um, I think... I think Lost Legion is still better, though. Marginally. So if I was worried about my life total, I could just play this now, but I don't care. So we're going to play this instead. Start trying to clock him a little bit more. One five reach, pretty good against a three two menace or a four five that can gain flying. <clears throat> Maybe if they have like turn into a pumpkin on the revenge and then like a counter when I try to replay it, they can do something. But I think they're in rough shape right now. Okay, lost legion of their own really does not do a whole lot. Another reason to uh, return the Lost Legion over the Malevolent Noble is because I already have something to do if I draw clues to sack, so um, no reason to double down on that. Okay. Play this out, I guess. No, thank you. Three mana, two, three, draw two cards. Pogchamp. It's a great card right there. <clears throat> Going hellbent. Just not a huge deal here. Just keeping the pressure on in the air. Remembering that they have Ginger Brute to gain three life if they want to. And they do. It's not doing much anyway. Pay one, attack, gain me one life, and drain yourself. Forever young? Okay. Not sure about that. I guess you can trade the 3 mana 2 2 flyer with my order. Unless I draw anything that makes a clue, that would be nice. Or another order could be really good. I don't think there's any blue combat trick for one mana here that I could possibly be worried about, which is nice. Nice. That was a <laughs> that was a pretty good draw. So now two turn clock with the flyers. They might just concede here. Oh, okay. And they did concede. Okay. Yep, Revenge of Ravens. It's a pretty good card. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do? Uh, could think about like a return to nature. Um, I guess that's nice against the uh, Forever Young. Can potentially counter it by exiling a card from a graveyard and then the cards only target fizzles. Um, that might be a little too cute. We didn't see any particularly good artifacts or enchantments, but if they're playing the blue wind drake, they might have tried to pick some up. Um, Fell the pheasant is an option too, but I think we're just going to run it back. I'm a little, <clears throat> a little dubious about my opponent's card quality, um, or 
I said that backwards. My opponent's card quality is a little dubious. Um, <laughs> this is a weird hand, but I think it's a keep. Uh, don't have double green, unfortunately, but we do have three blands. Um, I think I want to... Hmm. Okay. I mean, we're going to lead on a witch's cottage. The question is, do we go for a turn two order of midnight or not? I'm having a hard time imagining that we're going to get value out of it particularly soon, but I think we still don't need to play it. We can go turn three, spore cap, turn four, lock Thwain with the uh, adamant. So I'll just play another sad tapped witch's cottage and try to get the value out of this later. Witch Stalker with the uh, Bognati is pretty nice. Ooh, that's not bad against the uh, Spore Cap Spider. That's pretty annoying for me. <clears throat> so we gain two life and then our blocker goes away. But we did draw land number five for the Bognati. Might as well block here. Harvest Fear. Uh, I think we're discarding Witch Stalker, probably Land. Yeah, I think that's fine. Again, we do have the Order, which uh, makes the discard effects not quite as potent against us, and yeah, felt pretty good for <laughs> drawing like that after that discard. Like, discarded the double green and a land, drew the fifth land I needed anyway, and it still didn't give me the double green, so nice and easy rewards there. Oh, bake into a pie. That's pretty aggressive. Not wrong necessarily though. Ooh, Revenge of Ravens. That's a nice one. I think I'm just going to run out the bog naughty. Uh, we're actually going to attack for one here with the spore cap. Uh, they need to use some kind of removal or something to kill this anyway. Let's just hope they don't have the animating fairy. Uh, that could punish us here for attacking with this. They could turn the food into a 4-4. Four, four. No attacks? Please? Nice. A lot of mana. Okay. How about some ravens? Um, could get the Lockthwain back with the order if we wanted to. Maybe that's fine. I guess we're not really doing anything better. It's a good use of mana. All right, and then if we can use that to trade off with uh, the steel, the steel gaze sphinx, then the bognani can start getting in for damage again. That would be really nice. <clears throat> Uh, they might just play the Reaper of Night here. Okay. Hmm, it's not bad. Um, I don't really have attacks. I think. Um, hmm. We get to play two spells here either way. We can either play Okame and the Ravens or. Or, I'm sorry, Oakham and Order, or uh, Ravens and Order. Ironically, this card has Ravens in the name, and this one uh, appears to be a Raven. Um, I guess we can just attack with a Menace creature, basically trade for their 2-3. That seems pretty bad. They're not really attacking me anyway. Let's just do this. I think this is better. Alright, uh, now if we draw anything that makes a food, 
uh, we can start going nuts a little bit. They uh, are going to be an awkward spot with this Okane guy, right? Uh, because they don't have any three power creatures, which means to kill this, they either have to block with this or they have to double block with these. So those are both pretty bad options for them. Okay. Oh, wow. That's... Oh, my gosh. I guess I lose now. Like, not, not literally, but that's pretty bad for me. Um, wow. Okay. Good news is I have a nice attack here, but that was, again, that was just a brutal sequence. Uh, so this attacks, this attacks. I'm going to leave the 1-5 back. We do get a card for our troubles, which is nice. Okay, it's another land. Uh, I guess we play it. it. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, that was just a brutal uh, run away together. I don't think I've seen that card be that much value, which is annoying. So now they go for the Reaper of Night. Ooh. Okay. Sure. There's nothing I can do about that. Maybe they get back a griffin? Yeah, okay. So that probably just trades. Um, I think I am okay with this. Ooh, that was a nice one. And so putting this up on toughness is actually super good for me. Four four. Yeah, that's that's a beating right there. Unfortunately they still have the option to trade. Um but I think we're in decent shape. No reason to re equip because this can't block anyway. Forever Young, okay. Steel Gaze, sure. Man, really wish we had that Revenge of Ravens in play. Okay. Take five. go for this now maybe yep makes sense I don't think we have any removal that kills that necessarily yeah doesn't look like it um, hmm. so we're going to be re-equipping here I think I'm supposed to actually equip here because the opponent is already incentivized to trade, so we get a couple extra damage out of it this way. Like, you kind of need to trade here. Okay, that's pretty greedy. I will take it. Now I re-equip here. <clears throat> sure. We block five damage, which means we're taking four. It's not good. Uh, I was probably supposed to play the forest at some point. OK, 
a lost legion. Wow, no attacks. That's surprising and pretty good for me. Lost Legion of my own. Okay. Sure. Don't think the opponent should have cracked that there. Um. Does it really matter the way that I stack these? I'm, I want both because they both draw me a card. Um, I guess I'll do it like that. And no reason to play Forest. I can re-equip here. Then it only has four toughness. I think this is okay. just pass like this. No, I'll play the forest. I'm about to draw a couple cards. <coughs> Wicked Guardian. Okay. It's pretty annoying because now this doesn't have good attacks even if I equip it. Ooh, interesting. Uh, so yeah, 5-5 five, five here again. Charmed sleep on that. That's pretty brutal. Yikes. Do I just die now? I am taking a ton of damage. This is 10 damage. Yeah, it's not looking good. So I get to play this. And play this. And drawing another land, huh? <laughs> well, it's not ideal. Um, let me not mess up here. So what can I do? I can gain three life, which means I'm not dead to flyers. How many blockers do I need for the ground? So this says two or fewer cards in hand against flying. Oh, well, I guess I'm dead anyway. Um, my only hope is they mess up and don't trade here, I guess. should attack anyway. Yeah, I mean, that's an easy trade for them. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, this one looked pretty unwinnable. The mind rot was brutal. Um, so yeah, let's try it again. Uh, I think we're going to bring in the Fell the Pheasant this time. That would have saved us. And I don't think there's really anything else. Maybe a memory theft. Uh, they did show us the mind rot guy. Um. Hmm. I could board out golden egg, which doesn't really do anything. Like I haven't really had mana problems except for not being able to play the witch stalker for the first ten turns of that game. Maybe I take that out, and then what does the memory theft do? Is it worth bringing it in? I kind of don't think it is. Um, so the idea is I want to get value out of it, um, but if my opponent goes for the fairy animist and they make a 4-4, four -four, then I don't want to play a discard spell. I want to deal with a 4-4. Four -four. Or if they go mind drop me, I'm not keeping this in my hand as like one of my better cards. Present well, maybe I am. Hmm. Guess I could take out a Lost Legion or No, actually I like that card. 
I could take out like a six drop maybe. I think I'm just gonna run it like this. Maybe I'll regret not having the memory theft, we'll see. But I think bringing it in might be sideboarding a little too aggressively. Okay, uh, this hand is pretty good. We're one land short of doing anything, but once we get that land, it turns on the Savvy Hunter and the Scalding Cauldron. So that's gonna be a keep for me. This card would be so much better if it consistently cost two mana. It would also be completely broken, but oh well. Which is Cottage, okay. Still a tap land as far as I'm concerned, unfortunately. But we do have the turn three Savvy Hunter now. No removal one time. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to think this card is just not the strongest. Like, it's decent in the late game, but getting punished here. Okay, Fairy Vandal, meh. If they grow it once, we can just kill it. It's not a huge deal. Animating Fairy, okay. It's also meh. Please try to double block. Like, you snap attack with this. Yeah, okay. Ooh, interesting. So now I have my choice between either of these. I don't want to get mind rotted next turn. Um, there's nothing I can really do about that. I think I just go for the oak haim. If they go for the four mana four two, they can't use the ability really. So I think this is fine. If they mind drop me, I'll discard these two. Keep the ravens. Card is too good. That said, I wonder if I draw a land here, if I should even um, play it, or if I should just play around mind rot. Okay, hit me for four. Sure. I assume you have a bounce spell there. I'm going to make you use it though. Like blue, blue up looks like a bounce spell to me. And I really, I just get super blown out if I activate my cauldron now. Um, so maybe I go for my revenge. I think that's pretty good, actually. They're already at 12 life, anyway. Uh, we can draw a card if we want with the clues. Especially if they go for a mind rot. But yeah, we're just drawing infinite cards here, which is pretty nice. Wicked Guardian. Okay, so now they can finally do that. Get value. They just turn five, though, which means they can't play another land. Hold up a bounce spell again. Ooh, that's a three four now? I'm actually getting a little bit punished. Wonder if that attacks or not. Okay, they are still attacking. No fear. I don't think that's gonna work out for them. Now I get to, well, let's untap. I get to sack two foods, draw a card, fell the pheasant, perfect. Um, I think I'm just going to do this. Oops. Attack with both, this game is over. Hit them for damage, draw a card, why not? K 
kill this. Uh, play Swamp, so next turn I have Witch's Cottage online, and I have two food, so I can draw another card. They're at five life. That was just insane value. <laughs> uh, well, what do you guys think? Should I have played the uh, Lockthwain Paladin on turn uh, turn four, or should I have played the Okame Adversary? The card's pretty good. All right, well, on to round number three. All right, I'm back with round number three of my first Throne of Eldraine draft. Pretty awkward double green in this hand, but still seems totally fine to me, so we're gonna keep. Opponents on the aggro. Guess we'll be trading for a Malevolent Noble. Not ideal. But if they want to pump the mana into it, then good for them, I say. Zoom, they're pumping here. Nope. Okay, they have a play, which is probably worse. Seven dwarves. Okay. Now I have to figure out what I want to trade with. And if they just play another dwarf, then uh, can't really block. Or at least I can't block that one. Reeve Soul. Okay, well I'm taking three, but I do get to play the Savvy Hunter. It's not the end of the world. I think it's actually better to play the Lost Legion, because I'm happier to trade that here. That's what our plan is going to be. Bog Naughty and a uh, Rosethorn Acolyte. I don't really need the mana, I don't think, from the Acolyte, but Bognati seems decent. We've got the Savvy Hunter in hand as well. So, ironically, we're bottoming uh, our fifth mana source here, but I just don't think it's necessary. We have the Egg if we want to cycle next turn as well. <clears throat> no Dwarf, please. No removal spell either. Another removal would be brutal. Uh, I assume that's a tormenting voice. It is. Dwarf number two. Okay. It's looking bad. Take the damage. So now my question is, how do I want to block? Uh, do I want to play around combat tricks? I could play this mana efficiently and go uh, Malevolent Noble, try to double block one of them, and the Golden Egg, uh, which I don't think is unreasonable, because uh, I do want to find land 5, and it puts the Egg into play, and then after I block with the Savvy Hunter, yeah, I think that's just fine. It does get blown out by a combat trick, I'm not sure I can do anything about that at this point though. Is it better to play the Skewer? I don't think so. I think I want to find land 5 too badly. Nice. Okay. So it's a race against time. Opponent doing their best to kill me before I deploy my inevitable value from my hand. Like, they can't beat Presumably Savvy Hunter plus Bog Naughty, so. That was bad. That was another Reeve Soul. Okay, easy block here. Taking six damage though, unfortunately. Um Okay, so I think we have to play Savvy Hunter now. Pray they don't have a third removal. I think I'm going to play this greedily. I don't think I can beat like another dwarf off the top or something.
Maybe that was wrong and I was just supposed to play the Bognati here. Oh, wow. Okay, well, looks like I'm going to one anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I guess if I did this differently, I would actually have a chance. Hmm. So now I can Scalding Cauldron shoot one of them, gain life, and not die. Which doesn't sound excellent to me. I'm going to do this now so they don't get another draw at something. Wow, another one. Okay. Hit me down to one. So now I don't know if there's a draw that gets me out of this. Probably isn't one. The old four? No, I guess they drew five lands. Five lands. Uh, yeah, I, I need to do my best to refrain from being salty here because that was not <laughs> fun, but I guess, I mean, that's what they built their deck to do, so good for them. Uh, so how am I going to beat super aggro? Am I going to board in wildwood trackers? <laughs> Maybe. Um, two mana three one actually seems pretty good. Maybe I change up the mana base, take out a, like a Lockthwain Paladin. I think I really can get rid of these witches cottages which don't seem relevant in this matchup I think I actually do want to do this, weird as this is uh, so right now this is only 15 lands so I can cut one lost legion maybe I cut the second one too no, I should cut a 6 um, is there a reason to put the second Lost Legion in. Hmm. Forest Swamp, I think that's correct. Uh, so that gives me seven sources here. It's a little bit awkward with three green ones and a green two, but I think this is my best chance at surviving against aggro. Um, and I still think my late game is good enough that if I survive, I will win the game. This hand is pretty bad but it's great if we draw green mana. Uh, problem is, we're on the play, we only have seven green sources in the deck, so it's really just not gonna work out. Okay, this hand is much better. It's a bottom of land. Um, the odds of drawing a forest in the last hand, by the way, in the first however many draws, I think they're like sub 50%, if we're talking like the first two or three draws or whatever until I need to play like Savvy Hunter on three. <clears throat> okay, that's a pretty good draw, I think. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I do here. You just go dwarf and I lose. <laughs> Not really, but feels a little like it. Okay. I think I'm fine with that. Definitely attacking with the Lost Legion in the back. Opponent probably should trade. I think it's okay for me either way, because I have the order. There's probably an argument for playing this, but I'm not going to. <clears throat> Deathless Knight and the Skewer. That seems pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to survive to use both of those, uh, but I think I have to top the Deathless Knight. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think I'm just topping both. The cards are just too good together. Almost getting punished for the uh, Accolade play. Now they go Reeve Soul, hit me for two. <laughs> Tr 
trebuchet. Okay. Um. So I can play this. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to attack with this. Like it's awkward that it trades for the two one, but I don't really have a better play, unless I'm thinking about attacking, sacking the lost legion, and then alter fading to get it back, or altering fate, I guess. Um, yeah, this is annoying. Um, maybe I just play the rose thorn acolyte. And then next turn I have mana to play and equip the other guy, and that actually lets me get in for damage. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's not amazing, but I think it's fine. Maybe I'm supposed to attack, though? No, I think this is okay. What do you got for me? Okay, looks like a knight incoming. Elite headhunter. Sure. So now we have the giant skewer. I think we just do this. Still have the 2 3 to hold back there. 2 1, and we're hitting for 4. <coughs> They're just taking it, okay. Sure. Okay. Attack for two. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm definitely blocking here. Don't know what's up with that. Probably just like a one mana combat trick. Yep. <laughs> Unfortunate. So they gain some life, they get a 3 1 that can't block. Wonder if they just play that here. Two cards in hand. That's annoying. Brutal. One card, two mana. Okay, nice. Now I think we go for the Deathless Knight. <clears throat> no reason to attack with this one that I can think of. Next turn we can go like alter fate, get back one of these, uh, potentially get back um, the cheaper one if we want to be able to double block. Destroy target artifact. Well, that's pretty good here, and I <laughs> didn't expect I would get gotten by something like that, but I guess it's working for them. <laughs> Okay, can't block because of Menace. Should 
shoot me for one. Mm -hmm. Rimrock Knight. Okay. Well, that can't block, uh, so I think that was the wrong choice. But I'm happy about that. Now, what do I want to do? Definitely attacking with the 4 2. I think what I'm supposed to do is just alter fate. Uh, yeah, alter fate. Get back the noble. And then I have the choice between uh, replaying or er, playing the Falmire Knight or not? Definitely playing this noble, I think. Uh, or maybe that was wrong. Maybe I was just supposed to play the order there. I think I care a lot about preserving my life total, though. I think we will play this Falmire Knight. Okay, ping me again. <clears throat> So we can't double block the headhunter because they can shoot our Falmire Knight, which means um, <clears throat> we would just be like two for one ourselves for no value. Yeah, so like I just said, good news is their two mana three one is not doing anything. Five mana, Barrow Witches. I'm surprised they even have a five mana card in their deck. Uh, but that's pretty good for them. So let's see if they want to trade for the Deathless Knight or not. Um, one one Death Touch. We probably need to leave back. But yeah, we attack with the four mana four two. There's an argument for attacking with this, and like being willing to sack two things to grow it. Because like, what is it doing on defense? Um, is that insane? What did they just get back? The curry favor guy. Hmm. That does seem kind of insane, actually. Maybe I do it though. Sure, I I guess this is fine. I mean, I'm I'm two for wanting myself if I do that though. Uh, that's so bad. I mean, the other cards aren't doing anything on this battlefield, and this get I'm gonna do it. Whatever. might just die now. <laughs> hmm, they are making me do it. I think what I'm supposed to do is just sack one thing here to kill the brimstone. If I had the plus two, plus one death touch trick, I think they just lose the game. Um, I haven't played a land this turn. I guess I will 
sack the death toucher. No, maybe it's better not to. Yeah, I guess I'll sack this. So I want to leave this untapped. We might just be dead here. We'll see. <clears throat> oh, they forgot to ping me. That's something, I guess. Do I play the Order, or do I play the Noble? I feel like the Noble is the safe thing to put onto the battlefield. Hmm. Guess I go for the Order. I don't think I'm winning this game by playing this safely. Am I just dead, actually? Oh, I am, I think. Because I think what they can do is hit me with the menace. Oh, no, this isn't a knight, though. Yeah. No, I still might actually be dead. Um, because they returned the the one guy to their hand so they can, like, curry favor. No, I'm at nine, though. It seems really unlikely that they can kill me. That is the curry favor. I think they screwed up by <coughs> playing the shield breaker first. Okay, zero cards, uh, five mana, so we can see all of their options. They can ping something, they can play both of those, they can play either of those and ping something. They can sack a three power creature to deal three damage, which is not ideal actually. Yeah, opponent messed up, they should have played that before the curry favor. And because they tapped black mana, now they, oh, they're going to sack this here and deal me... oh, that's lethal. Nice. Three, six, yeah. Okay, so they missed two damage and still killed me. Okay, well that's unfortunate, but I don't think there really was a safer... like, I could have played this safer, but I still lose if I do, I think. Because, like, let's think about this. If I play the Malevolent Noble um, instead of this, I block here. One, two, three, four, five, and remember they missed two damage by playing the two one after the curry favor and by missing the ping. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was just doomed here no matter what. Uh, but that's unfortunate. I think that deck was pretty good. Wouldn't have been surprised if it trophied if we didn't face a super aggressive deck. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll be back soon for more limited content.